so in this class what are we going to learn we are going to learn about linked list the basic building block of data structure on which you will find numerous numerous questions in any software interview so what is a linked list so we see linked list is very important let's divide this word and see what is list this is much simpler word i think to explain so list list is a set of items we can say it's a set ordered set of items where we can have say a list of names so we can say that okay names of students like pat jack rose ivan so this is a list now so this is a list of names of person and pat is the first in the list jack is the second rose is the third and ivan is the fourth so one thing more so list we have so it contains some similar data item so now one can ask the question we have used arrays for that isn't it so we have already used arrays for it and the answer of course they are very bright people so they are asking a good question we have used arrays of and here pat jack rose and ivan they are all care arrays and can you answer we can say that okay can you define pat and he will say yes it will be care and then name and then what so it will be say a name is not more than 20 cat so this will be two dimensional array where the name is not more than 20 characters and so this way i can define so what will happen in the memory so in the memory so i will have memory allocated now so this is the memory so let's see what will happen now so we see that we have the memory in the computer and it will be something like memory location 1 2 3 4 it goes on like this and then we have some more so we have here let's say this was the memory location what so we define the memory location here and this is 0 x 100 so here i write pat and i'm quite happy now so it's very good so i can define a list with array very simple now here what will happen that i am allocating 20 so here it will now be 0 x 1 so it will now become 2 0 and then 0 x 1 4 0 so we will have names like jack here and then we can have in the list rose and then ivan so now what's the problem it's working quite fine we can have so 20 memory locations are allocated 1 2 3 4 and 19 20 so these are all lists isn't it very good and we can if i want to find the third name in the list i will just do name 3 and it will give me the third in the list in fact it will be now the fourth because the array starts from zero if you remember in your class 
so it will be the fourth element so it will get even so this will be even so now the thing is it's very good so pat answered that arrays are very good for list so why do we need a linked list is there any use and again now rose answers this question so what is important about linked list we have arrays already and it's almost the same thing that both of them are doing so why do we need linked list so now let's understand the meaning of this new word link so how do you see link so what is a link you have seen so this is link is there in this one is a link so this is a kind of chain you see so each one has a link somehow or in web pages you see that okay there is a home page my home page link is there so it's something that links or joins two things together so why do we need this thing so let's see now very good so the thing is now we have link list so list we already understood why link so link means now let's again make a table and see so let's make a simple table so int num so let's say we make five a small computer we have okay and we write one two four six and seven so i have a very mini computer where i have just 10 memory locations for me okay so i have this two three four five six seven i will extend the memory a little bit so i have 10 memory locations and let's say the computer started and all the people started writing something allocating memory so one person defined int a is equal to three and so this was the memory location so it's what so let's say it's hundred and so these so it will be now what so four bytes so it will be hundred four 108 112 124 128 132 136 so these are memory locations okay now what happens int a is equal to 3 someone came and he said okay please allocate int a is equal to 3 so now the computer chooses this memory and writes that okay the variable is a and the value stored in this memory location is 3 so let's write the variable here in fact okay and cut it so now mr. Pat comes again he's very smart he says that okay int b is equal to 5 and now the computer somehow say it generates a random magic number and says okay I will put this B at this location I will make it 5 similarly many users came and they wrote something something so they define int C and now he's smart he knows some calculation he does A plus B and he's very happy then some person came and he wrote int d is equal to c by 2 and int g is equal to a into 3 so these people wrote some things and now the computer somehow magically they have to allocate some memory so he what he did he allocated now see he was very happy he allocated 
let's say here so C now he made it A plus B a lot of calculation took place 5 plus 3 is it very good so now the computer had to allocate memory for D so it came here and let's say it was this place which was assigned for D C by 2 so it is now 4 and let's say the final call for G so G is A into 3 and G is coming here somehow and it's A into 3 so what 9 so now we have one so it's everything is allocated and it looks very fine I'm very happy but next thing what happens this line gets now executed so the computer if it is an array what will happen he will say sorry I cannot do anything now because I even though I have space so now the computer comes and he starts to count that okay I have to allocate memory for how many so it's five okay so it's 5 and it has to allocate memory for 5 so he says that okay I can do because he knows that okay how many he had 10 memory locations to store integers he counted that okay 1 2 3 4 5 he has given 5 elements he has given from it so he is happy he, he says that okay I have 5 memory locations you are fine but now what happens in array what happens that it all has to be contiguous they all have to be continuous so now the computer the person becomes very very sad initially he was happy that okay it's working fine but now he becomes sad oh he sees it's an array and it needs contiguous memory allocation so what happens now so it's sad now okay he has five memory locations but now they're not contiguous and he says that sorry I cannot do your work so I'm very sorry even though I have space somehow they're not continuous so I cannot do but hey the programmer says no problem I can change my code so what will he do he says that don't become sad okay you become happy you become happy again why because I am going to change my code and he says oh is it and he says okay please smile and he brings back smile on his face so how because now he uses the term link list so what does he do in linked list so he says well I have five locations they are not contiguous no problem at all why because he says that okay now what I can do is I can say that I will put my first element one here I've, I have memory so let's put some unique color for this one which color should we use okay so green will be fine we haven't used so I use a one here I'm very happy I could do two so I can allocate here so this is contiguous fine but now he says that okay for four I cannot allocate so I have to come here so four then six again I have to jump here six now again seven no not allowed no this says no this says no so I come to 7 here and it has a big jump of 2 memory units but then also I can manage and this is the beauty of linked list I do not need contiguous memory location so this requirement is now not at all needed and this person becomes very very happy that he could still manage and he can tell his boss that okay I have allocated memory so what will happen now that okay this is the memory 
he has to do some kind of bookkeeping so for what he will say that okay i have element 1 so he will have to do a little bit more of book keeping and what is that but he is ready he says that okay because with the same memory amount if i can do that he is happy and he says he will do and what he has to do is he has to maintain the data part and with it so he has to maintain link so this word comes up link to next element so this is the first thing to learn about linked list so now he will say that okay i have item 1 is 1 and next memory location is where it is 108 2 next element is 2 and it is now where so it is at so next element to 2 is 4 which is at 116 so he comes to the third element now the third element is 4 and where is the next pointer where it say that okay which will tell where is the next element so it tells it is 124 so we go now to 124 we find we are happy 6 is there and it tells okay the next element is now so we are at 3 so we go to 6 and so each element so now at 6 what happens is that the next element is at 136 so this way we get a kind of link to the next element so this is the understanding about link list which will make our next lecture very clear so to summarize what we learnt is what is link list first we understood the word list so what is a list list is just a set of items ordered items and then we saw we can do with arrays also so why do we need list so we move to link so link list we show an example of memory where we have 10 memory locations and initially I just distributed some memories in random fashion and then even though I had space for 5 numbers they were not contiguous so I could not use arrays but then came link list which helped the memory manager to manage the list of items using link list so if you like this lecture please subscribe to my youtube channel and you can see more such lectures at www.saurabhschool.org